Okay, so we're just down here, guys, at the uh, Las Vegas Federal Courthouse, Lloyd George uh, Courthouse, waiting for Ryan Payne to be released. We have his fiance, Ariel, here with us. And so I thought I'd start the live stream and just kind of let it play again. We don't have as long as we had yesterday. Yep. We waited like for hours yesterday, so um, but I thought I would just get this up and going, let the audience build, and then people can come over and say something as they want. And uh, so Ariel drove in last night. Yep. We from, got here at 4:30 this morning from Anaconda, Montana. So I mean, it was like about 12 and a half hour drive, and. That's oh, yeah. oh yeah, and it was just so straight through. Oh yeah, I mean I haven't slept. I'm just waiting. You know, him and Rachel are just fun and loving. It's just like how me and Ryan are together. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like we all just click. And it's amazing. So, so it's been two years since Ariel has seen Ryan. He was uh, picked up after the protests down at the Oregon Refuge, and then they continued detaining him uh, because of uh, his involvement supporting the Bundys in Bunkerville at that protest. So. Ryan's a protesting kind of guy. He <laughs> likes his voice to be heard, and he loves to stand up for people who are in need well, or who being bullied. He's an ex-army ranger, you know. Uh, he said two tours to Iraq. He has an, an oath to uphold is ultimately how he sees it, and that's just what he's been doing. You know, he's not going to let his fellow Americans be trampled on by, you know, and not and just sit by and watch it happen. You know, that's what made him go down to the bunker bill was seeing, you know, Margaret being thrown down and everybody just being harassed and Davy and, you know, their cattle being ran down by helicopters. And so that's ultimately what made him go down there. And, you know, now here we are waiting. Yeah, you know, when people talk about the cows, it's interesting because these guys didn't even go because cattle were being rounded up. They went because cattle were being shot in the head, run down by, uh, run down by, uh, by uh, helicopters, separated from their young, and people don't quite understand that in the media. This isn't about, oh, they were rounding up somebody's cows. not even that. It's cattle wrestling. In some states, you can get hung for that. Yeah. And because of who it was, obviously that's not going to happen. But, you know, it's, that's what it is, and ultimately mass graves of cows, you know, that's thousands of dollars going in burial grounds, basically, you know, and, oh, we're not killing cattle, but, you know, lo and behold, here's a whole mass grave of them, you know, and a lot of people saw that, and that's whenever it just, that's when he went up, exactly, and he's, he's been willing to see this through, we're just watching the doors, because there's a lot of people coming and going today, and so we don't know when they're going to walk out. We've got a great group of supporters down here. If you guys are close, even if you're an hour away, come down. I'm sure Ryan will want to stay out front for a few minutes to talk um, and visit with people. So uh, please come down and show us some support. And he'll love to see you guys. And, you know, ultimately he's given us for all of us. You know, all of these guys are in here for us.
She'll be coming out. I know your home, your family, family getting, getting better. We went and visit all the guys. It's been, it's been a few weeks ago, but um, recovery. We thought, oh, we'll just split it up and go with half an hour. Praise God that it's not oh, like. Oh, no. Uh, we met Ryan. We spent a whole hour. It was so fun. Oh, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. Just, oh, just, yeah. Oh, just oh, awesome. We have not heard any information about Clyden. My mom, she's really excited. We just need to pray everything goes as planned and they actually end up getting released. Next week. Yes, some of the Bundys are here. Sorry, we were all trying to speak up. I'm, I'm kind of hiding behind the camera, so sorry if you can't hear me. Um, yep, we got Lisa here, Angie's on her way, uh, Lily is here, and um, so got a good group of supporters if you guys want to come that would be awesome keep praying about the release of the other defendants next week uh, pray that everything goes uh, as planned and uh, when we get final details on that final uh, papers are signed of course we'll have those details out um, but right now we know it's in the works and it's looking very good um, and again we don't know anything about Cliven um, even if the others are released, he still said he wanted to be released a free man. And we know if he is released, they will not release him without an ankle monitor and being on house arrest. So we do not know how that's going to work out yet. We're just going to keep praying that whatever is supposed to happen, happens. And, um, and that the Lord will sustain Cliven for whatever the courts decide and whatever he decides. So I'm going to wander for a minute and let you guys just hang out and watch. anything from this community and um, they have received very little overall so if you can support her and Ryan right now Ryan needs to cover his expenses at the house he's living at so he needs to be able to provide his own food and necessities while he is out I don't know what that will cost I can't imagine it would be more than maybe a hundred dollars a week but I don't know um, I would think that's kind of a, a bare minimum to have food covered and um, any extra necessities that he needs so if you're able um, to help them for the next two months, three months, and make sure that Ryan has funds, you can pay pallet to um, Ariel, and then she will just be loading it on to like a Visa card, a uh, reloadable Visa card that Ryan will have down here to use. And that would be very appreciated uh, for both Ryan and his host family. And um, make sure that his needs are, are met at uh, this time. Um, Ryan Bundy and Ammon, it seems they have their basic needs met at the homes that they're living at, which is huge praise. Um, you can continue supporting their legal team, Britt Kerber and Morgan Philpott. They are the only hired attorneys on the team, and they are working only on support through donations, and they are helping all the defendants, um, primarily Rick is. So you can keep supporting them. That would be at BundyDefense.com. And, yeah, I think that's... That's just about it. I think I'll hop off camera again. Oh, God. 
Sarah was going to do. Congratulations!
I didn't, but they're great. Christian, come here. Thank you. 
up and come back on once he's released, but some of y'all say you like hanging out and kind of seeing what's going on down here. So. No, Michael, most of the news doesn't see this, but that's why they don't see this as newsworthy, but that's why we are the media. Here's Gina. Gina also likes to do independent. Are we on? Are you on? Yep. Over there. Just so people can kind of see us hanging out. Here we are hanging out. Gina. On Ryan Payne Watch. Get Ryan. ready for the Ryan Payne Hug Fest. <laughs> thing was to hold a leaf that had fallen on the ground um, because nothing uh, flies in. Ryan Payne will be out in a minute. Dave, Mel, Joseph, Jason will be out. Stream. There I am. Uh, the message I just got said that uh, Ryan Payne will be out in a minute and that Jason, Joe, Mal, and Dave will be out next week, which is um, awesome. Of course, we don't have the final details on that. Once the uh, judge signs off, uh, we'll be able to release those details and make sure people are down here to celebrate their release. But in the meantime, we are rejoicing today that uh, Brian Payne will be released and his fiance Ariel is here and a bunch of supporters and uh, it's nice to see some of this coming to an end. We've all waited um, two years as their supporters, and so um, everybody's tired. The, support, the prisoners are exhausted, their family members are exhausted, and the supporters are tired. But what's good about this is that this proves that we can um, hold out and not, um, uh, what do you say, when you're trying to get somebody else to give up? <laughs> that um, we didn't surrender and we didn't quit every step of the way. And for these people who have held out this long and not taken plea deals, um, they are going to 
um, see a lot of God's working in this courtroom um, because they stuck this out and not everybody could stick this out. You have to understand the circumstances they've been living in, um, but for those who could, um, they are going to be rewarded um, for their suffering, I believe. So anyway, I'm going to move off the screen. That sounds better anyway, right? See other people. Look how tired I look anyway. So there's Ariel hanging out. And, uh, It's kind of funny when they say that um, he'll be out in a minute. Hey, Kaylee. Um, because we have learned that our minute and their minute is not the same thing. So that's kind of funny. Fix this here. I'm gonna get it straight. All right. <laughs>
inside to uh, get a message from Ryan. Not exactly sure what it was about, but to get a message to Cliven or from Cliven or something of the sort. I don't know. But we're still here hanging out. My dad is on that. Thank <laughs> you. 
She wants me to, if for some reason she goes in and they all come out, I'm supposed to turn it. So I just was looking to make sure it's on you guys right now. Are you in it? No, you're not in it. Yep, it's live based that way.
Thank you. Any chance to hug her? Thank you. Any chance to hug her? Oh, love you. Mom. Oh, this is Mama. I can't wait to have grandbabies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm with Just you. like a grandma. Yeah. Nine, Nine months. Nine months. Nine months. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Nine months. Yeah. Yes. How are you? Freedom. Well, much better. Yes. Hello. How are you? I'm pretty happy. <laughs> How are you? I don't really have any statements for the media, I guess, but for everybody who's been supporting all of us all this time, I'd like to uh, say a prayer with you if we could. Please do. If you could take a knee. Justices that are that are being committed all over that we, we turn a blind eye to and we continue on in our daily lives uh, that we will recognize them and that we will take the time to love one another and and bear forth the compassion that that you have placed within us in accordance with your will. for your mercy on us for all of our faults and we thank you for for being with us and, and uh, putting it into all these these fine people's hearts to support us and, and all across the nation who, who have continued to support us in, in many different ways which we recognize and we know that that's that's your will placed upon their hearts Lord we thank you for that we thank you for my family and supporting them and, uh, and putting it in all these people's hearts to support them as well. We say all of this in, in your almighty, almighty and all-powerful name. Amen. 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 God bless. <laughs> Still sitting guilty, and he will not walk out in 
until he is a free man. Free. Free from the court. He does not have jurisdiction over any of this. And I challenge you to not cut what I say. Exactly. Report the truth. And that is the message we have to We love you, Carol. We love you, Carol. The truth, only the truth. Tell the truth. Be the guard dog for the people. Be the guard dog for the people and not the lap dog. Yes. How much this is cut up? about the BLM pointing no. weapons no. at the supporters. She only or the true reasons why the militia came. Any truth. Tell the whole truth. You're in that courtroom, Vanessa. Tell the whole truth. Yeah. You see what's going on in there. Report the truth. I want you to. I want you to be. Are they going to cut it up, clip it up, and edit it? No, oh, absolutely. They won't tell the truth. My mother. You're watching them. This is what's important. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I would say Gary and I, uh, maybe in long distance, have spent as much time together as, as anybody in my family here over the past few years. So. <laughs> hey, boss, it's good to see you. I'm going to get on here. I'll, yeah. I'll probably talk to you soon. We'll get it, get with you later, Gary. Okay. Ryan, Terry, Take care, Ryan. All righty. Who is? My Tara Lee. Tara, oh, Tara Lee, good deal. She's sick. She's sick. She just wanted to let you know. Oh, she's sick. Pastor, I want to get it. Thank you. Look at the So vultures come in when somebody's wounded and they start picking them apart. So that's why I called her a blonde haired vulture because she uh, flies in. She flies in when people are injured and bleed up and starts to pick them apart. I know, yeah, you know. 
no, he's, now he's here. <laughs> You gotta claim it in Jesus' name. What's that? You gotta claim it in Jesus' name. Watching you, watch me. Two we appreciate How's the air smell? So no, no more vending machine recipes. <laughs> you learn how to make the best what you can without much. Oh yeah. <laughs>
being continued. I got people working, and that's, so that's good to see. People. People, if you got people in California, you got people in Washington, Oregon. Uh, I know Luke, this one here has been working pretty hard, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, See, 250 of your actual supporters want to hear from you. Oh. They're just saying, put Ryan on, help him say something. And this is all the people who've been from you, Ryan. sending donations <laughs> you know? and yeah. sending you mail. And so I don't know if there's can anything you want to say. Can you take one picture with me yeah. so I can send it to Lisa? Because that's what I'm doing. Yeah, let me, I'll just send a quick message and then I'll, I'll take a picture with so you. The, these are your people here, Ryan, that love just, you. I know. Yeah. I can probably relate. Uh, John Lamb is watching, so you can also say hi to hi, John. John. Oh, excellent. Hi, John, and thank you very much for everything you do. Uh, I can probably relate uh, a common sentiment from everybody who's been uh, in prison for this time that we're very much appreciative of everything you do, and, and I don't think we could possibly ever uh, say that enough, or probably not very many words that I could say that would really get across what uh, the thanks that we have for all of you. And uh, we just got to keep doing the right thing, that's all. Doing the right thing and get her done, right? Yes. Get it done. You want to say anything, Ariel? No. Thank you guys for all your support and, you know, everything you've done for Ryan and me. And just thank you guys. We can't say thank you enough. Right. All right. You guys are probably wanting to get back to your place and get all set up so we'll get out of your hair. <laughs> going here guys until we walk out. This is awesome. Legal team. Thank you, David Fleeman, for the use of this tripod. It really does help. <coughs> Thank you, John Ritzheimer, for the We the People shirt. Yeah. Talking about his where he's going and stuff. So With all these great people, you guys. It doesn't matter how we stand. Hey Lisa, good to have you on here. Hey Melina, we wish you were here with us. So I think I'm gonna sign off, guys. One goodbye. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Please support Ariel if you can. And um, Ryan Payne. Uh, with his some of his living expenses if you can while he's staying here in Las Vegas at a house and um, it matters how you stand um, do whatever it takes and get her done God bless you guys